Hello out there in YouTube land. I'm Doug. I'm Marie. And this is Backyard Botany and Biology. With the Hymans. Hello everyone and welcome to our first installment of Backyard Botany and Biology. We hope to be bringing you different things from our backyard that Marie has either cultivated or propagated or something aided. She's always working back here. And today we have something very special to start out the series with. Marie, would you like to tell them what we have? Uh, monarch chrysalises. Which came were, from a caterpillar. Came from a caterpillar, yes. And hopefully will become a monarch butterfly. A monarch butterfly, yes. And we have uh, some footage of those to show you. And they are in the green stage right now. We hope soon they will become transparent so that about a day later they actually produce hatch. a butterfly. They hatch, if you will. Um, I guess hatch is more of an egg term, but this is a completion of the metamorphosis to become a butterfly. Uh, what else do we need to know about the chrysalis as we wait for it to mature? Well, they uh, became a chrysalis about a week ago, a week and a day for three of them, and a week ago for two of them. And they take eight to 14 days to transform and so call hatch from their chrysalis. Now, did you raise them from the egg, so to speak? Yes. Um, I was swimming in the pool one day and noticed a monarch butterfly laying eggs on my milkweed plants. This is the milkweed that you purchased for the purpose of cultivating butterflies. For helping save monarchs. Yes, yes. saving the monarchs which are in Close to endangered. Close to being endangered, yes. Now, these monarchs, when they emerge from the chrysalis, are late summer monarchs. These are. So, what does that mean? That hopefully they will make the trip to Mexico to uh, winter over and then come back next spring and start the process all over again of laying eggs and. I believe it's the fourth generation that goes back to Mexico. It's the third or fourth generation. So when they return, you'll have a whole new crop of milkweed for them to, to feast on and lay their eggs. God willing. God willing. Now the butterflies don't eat the milkweed, right? That's just a caterpillar. No, just a caterpillar. What are the butterflies? Nectar. Uh, uh, is that like a bee? Yeah, uh. like a uh, flower nectar. So they visit the flowers and they, they do the flower thing and they mm -hmm. gather nectar and they feed that way. Yeah. And how long do they live after they emerge from the chrysalis? Well, it depends. Um, it depends on... We had an earthquake. Um, it depends on what uh, generation they are. Um, they lay about anywhere from 300 to 500 eggs and then they pass away. Um, right after egg laying? Yeah, it's just uh, mate and, and lay eggs and be gone until the fourth generation, mm. which goes back to Mexico. Why Mexico? No one knows. Mm. And all monarchs go to Mexico, certain spot. And what do they do there? Hang out? Literally hang in trees. And then they return here? Mm hmm In the summer. Spring and summer. Okay, and so... They lay eggs and they die. And then the first generation is born. And they become caterpillars. Um, approximately a week after the, the egg is laid. And then they eat the milkweed. And become chrysalises within a week to two weeks. Okay, great. Uh, so how long are we expecting now when these chrysalis turn transparent from, from they, today? They can go any day Anytime now. Anytime now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it looks like that will be the next thing that we uh, jump on here is when they turn transparent and we expect a butterfly to soon emerge. 
And until then, we will call it a day and come back when we have more to show you on that. So until then, so long from Backyard Botany and Biology. Bye.